Hello, I'm Jeff with JDOG 109 SoCal Productions. Over the last year, I've received many, many emails from all of you asking me to make a video of the bike system and really get into depth a little bit, show you how to hook it up, and then later on in this film, we'll get into some editing and how to upload onto YouTube. When I first started off making the videos off the bike, this was the first original camera that I used and still use today for some of the ground shots. This is the Canon ZR300. One thing if you are going to add bullet cameras, note that you need to have an AVI input shown here where my finger is. And uh, what I did from there is uh, I bought two bullet cameras. And it was uh, a challenge for me at first to figure out how I was going to get two bullet cameras to run into the one camera. So what I did is I built a switch box. Let's see if we can zoom it in there a little bit better. A customized switch box uh, with the cord that plugs into the AVI switch. And then the bullet video cameras fit into the back of this. Uh, on this box here, uh, that box right there, I can run four bullet cameras off um, and a power switch to turn the cameras off and on right here. Now, after about a year's time uh, of using the Canon, I started really getting frustrated with getting about, uh, oh, I'd say about 30% of the film was good and usable for my movies due to the flutter and the jumps and the skips of the bike uh, you know hitting potholes and crappy roads out here in California the PDR is really light and compact which I just keep in my tank bag and uh, the nice thing about it is it all records on a flash card it's all 100% digital and no moving parts for tape flutter as you can see the PDR is about five inches wide and it's about four inches in depth one thing really nice about the PDR is it is small and compact it fits right inside my tank bag there along with my autocom unit and a three pole cigarette lighter for charging other batteries or for in this case I run the PDR right off my bike battery and I run my bullet cameras all off my bike battery So the first camera I mounted was right there, facing towards the rear, uh, just underneath my tail light and between my right saddle bag there. And the other camera that I bought was the front one under the nose there. So that would make the front and the back, and I still had the lens off of the Canon camera, which was mounted on the tech mount, we'll show you here in just a sec. But that gave me a front and back view. So here's where the video camera originally mounted, where I have my new monitor now. But as you can see, it's a tech mount. Well, now that I've added six bullet cameras to the bike, I had to build a new box. And here's the new box as I'm using today with the Lance switch for the on and off video mounted on top of the box. That's the big green light shining at us, which means it's in standby mode and ready to record. Now the green light that's blinking on the left hand side is the power switch to all the video cameras which run off my bike battery now one thing I switched to last week is uh, well when going to the PDR I no longer needed sound cables so I got rid of six cables which you can see on the upper part of that box there there's still a bunch of open RCA jacks well uh, the PDR has its own uh, sound so I no longer needed the sound mics that were all over the bike so I cut away six cables as I said and uh, now only run six cables so I got rid of a lot of extra weight there on the handlebars. 
Well, that's going to do it for the look at the video system on the FJR here. So let's go inside and take a look at some of the editing software and maybe get into a little detail on showing you how to put some of the movies together and also how to upload on YouTube. Okay, now we're inside, and before we sit down at the computer, I'd like to go over some software that I use. I use Vegas Movie Studio Platinum version. Uh, there's a lot of free different softwares out there. Uh, Windows Movie Maker is one that comes with Windows, so you probably already have it. The problem with that is YouTube is going to want you to have it in a 320 by 240 format, and I don't know if Windows Movie Maker does that. Uh, the reason is uh, when you upload your movie to YouTube, uh, they're going to squash it down and compress it, and then you're going to view it back, and you're going to see your movie really squashed down to a, a smaller size, and you're going to see uh, a really an unclear video. But uh, in Vegas software, uh, there is a smaller format you can just save it from, and I'll show you that when uh, we make our movie and go ahead and uh, save it. Uh, when I upload it to YouTube, uh, very little compression is done to my movies, uh, which makes them a little bit more clear than a lot I have seen on YouTube. Alright, so when you open up uh, Sony Vegas, you're going to get a window similar to this. Uh, uh, we need to get all the film that we just shot into the box here. So now we got all the video in the box here. We basically grab the video we need and drag it up here. And then we start blending all our video together, and we create our movie. Alright, so there, uh, once you get your movie all completed, you look at your timeline, and you know, it looks like there's a lot of stuff on there. Uh, don't rush through it, otherwise you make mistakes, which I've made plenty of mistakes. So from here, we're going to make the movie, and right there we're going to click on Make Movie. We're going to save it to the hard drive. Uh, from here, I go to Advanced Rendering. I pick the uh, place where I'm going to save my film to and from here we want to save as type I usually save mine as an MPEG-1 which uh, saves in a 352 by 240 format which is real close to what YouTube wants you to save it at okay so you open YouTube the counts are free so you just click on account make your account and from there you just click on the upload button you're going to get another screen that pops open. You put in the name of your movie and you put in the description or the entertainment and then tags. Tags are very important if you want your video to be seen. Then the next window that's going to open up is it's going to ask you for the video off of your hard drive. So you click browse. I keep mine all on the drive F under videos done. And uh We'll just pull up the uh, Hello 2008 video, which uh, I already have uploaded. Click Open Up, and there it is. You see it in the window. And from there, all you do is you click Upload Video, and it'll start uploading, which it usually, on the average, takes 30 minutes. Well, that's going to do it for me on this film. Um, hopefully, you all have learned something out there, and uh, hopefully I'll see some of your films out there and enjoy them as much as you've all enjoyed mine. Thanks a lot, and ride safe.